Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you five different ways to style the exact same cupcake. The recipe is in the description box. Today I am just making the half recipe because I have nobody to share these cupcakes with since I am in isolation. I have just been baking for myself. Make sure cupcakes are fully cooled before decorating. Here I am just doing a swirl starting from the center and going to the outside and you have a beautiful rosette. Using the same principle to start your next cupcake, you are just going to swirl and make sure that you have even pressure the whole time. When I was still making orders for people, this was one of the most popular cupcakes to get. It was just so simple and fresh and elegant and brides loved being able to add in their own florals afterwards. This is some melted candy melts. Make sure that you follow the directions that come on the label or else you're going to end up with seized chocolate. I'm just laying down a bit of chocolate and then swiping a spoon and a pastry brush through it. Stick that chocolate into the freezer or fridge and pipe on your buttercream while you're waiting. You'll know that your chocolate is ready to come out of the fridge once it can stand alone by itself and be stabbed into the buttercream fairly easily. Here I am splattering on some gold luster dust mixed with a lot of vodka. For the next cupcake, I wanted to use a color that was very inviting, and I think blue is a pretty universally liked color. I'm taking my caramel sauce, which I made the other day, and I heated it up a little bit so that it was still malleable, and I'm drizzling it on the top. I'm going to add some chocolate sprinkles, and then I'm going to add some lovely chocolate chips. To finish off this cupcake, I'm going to add a little salty note by adding two butterfly pretzels. I am by no means an expert at making chocolate spheres, but what I am doing here is I'm putting candy melts into the pots and using a ball tool to bring it up the sides. One tip that I can give you is to make sure that you really go right up almost past the seam. This will become really important when you try to put the two halves of the spheres together. After putting them in the fridge for a couple minutes, I am popping them out of the molds. These are super fantastic since they came out so easily. The trick to nailing these is making sure that you don't make your chocolate shell too thin or else it'll be impossible to put them together. We are on to our last cupcake and this is where I just really let my creativity flow. Here I'm just putting a bunch of icing colors directly into the piping bag, not mixing them up and just seeing what I get and I got this really cool abstracty rainbow color. I'm adding a bunch of sprinkles, a bunch of sprinkles and here I have a macaron and adding in that chocolate sphere we made earlier and some Pocky sticks. These ones are the Oreo or cookies and cream flavor. Mm. It wouldn't be an outrageously over the top cupcake without some edible glitter. Don't 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. I am uploading daily at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you. Bye.